things marked out for the mortises for the stretcher but before I do that, I want to pull these apart and I've got to drill a hole in this leg right here. And I'm also, while well, I've got the drill press set up, I'm going to drill some holes in this as well so that I can mount this to the top, which is over there on the workbench. The reason that I have to drill a hole here is because of poor planning. So I had thought that I had enough space to clear this, um, but I ended up moving my legs inward after I had started to draw and just forgot about the fact that this this vise when extended it sits underneath the workbench so in order for this to be centered it's going to punch a hole straight through that leg Here we are, we've got almost everything cut. I've got to cut four more mortises. So in the legs here, that will be for our stretchers to go into this right here. up a little bit here clearly I did not do my measurements right because I've got like an extra quarter inch of space here and this is not deep enough this is actually supposed to sit proud by about a quarter of an inch so uh, I'll have to check my math here see what I did wrong these uh, these mistakes mistakes happen I'm really glad I decided to go ahead and test one of these before I went ahead and cut off four um, because now I can go back and, and fix this one problem I'll probably glue some pieces in there um, and remortise it and go from there. So let's uh, let's let's fix this goof up and get my uh, get my tenons to the right size. that I had to cut and unfortunately our square chisel mortiser um, you really have to take care of these things well um, and I really wasn't thinking and was using this bit without actually sharpening it properly so I've gone and sharpened it a little bit more um, you can see those flat faces I could probably sharpen it a little bit better but long story short this bit actually started bending um, and so as a result my mortise does not look very pretty, so I'm probably going to have to clean it up by hand with a chisel. You can see all the messiness in there. If you look at this side, 
like one whole corner is just messed up this one went way off to the side it's just it's nasty y'all so we're gonna clean this up and then hopefully once i get that together we can look at assembling this thing Sand. Got both of these sanded. Um, and before I glue up the stretchers that are over there, I'm going to use this little palm router to put an eighth inch roundover on all the edges here because they're a little bit sharp and don't want to be beating up my hands trying to work around this thing. was rough so you might have seen me running around a little bit I did forget a glue brush um, which isn't necessary but for this one it was helpful um, I actually also too grabbed this massive wrench off of the spindle sander over there so what happened <laughs> is I had these labeled and I chose not to sand them off on these but forgot about it on these and just went ahead and sanded it entirely off so I couldn't remember which one went where so you saw me do a little bit of test fitting I was like oh yeah that should work turns out I wasn't quite right because this one on this side my gosh this thing was incredibly tight so I managed to get it to close um but just barely if it had taken me two minutes longer probably would never have closed and I would have had a half closed joint and had to have completely remade this workbench. So that's why glue-ups are so incredibly important.
work finish is together. I think that it's done. Um, I may add a few things to it here and there, but overall this has been a really good project. I hope to get a bunch of use out of this thing, just having a nice flat surface to work with. The device is awesome. Um, I may end up drilling a couple of holes in here um, to add something like bench dogs so that you can clamp a longer piece using this little guy on the vise. But for now, this thing is complete. I would highly recommend having a good work surface for anybody who's looking to get into woodworking. You don't have to go as crazy as this. This is a very beefy overkill bench that I expect to last me for 20, 30 years, hopefully. Next week, we will be finishing up the boxes. So stay tuned for that.